here on the stunt. Hey, Jones joins us now. We're all just talking about how quickly that snow came down this evening. Oh, yeah, it really did. You're inside, maybe coming home from work, nothing. You look outside a couple hours later, there's just a uh, winter wonderland out there. And that's really the case for everybody. I mean, you look outside earlier, and now you've got a few flying flurries that's still lingering around. Here's Troy, as a matter of fact. If you look closely on the camera, you can see a few flying flakes. But here's the big picture. Most of this on the grassy surfaces. Look at the circle there. But you look on the roadways, not much going on there. So that's the good news. We're not looking at a lot of accumulation, but some of this may freeze over overnight tonight, and so it may be some slick spots on the roadways first thing tomorrow morning, so make sure you stay tuned to uh, Kirsten Zantini in the morning. She'll keep you updated here. Got a couple, of, a few pictures uh, from across the area. Nia Moore sends us this from Xenia. You'll notice the grass and the car is covered, so if you haven't went outside in the evening time, you're going to have to scrape the car in the morning. Laura Cox sends us this. You see the grass covered there, a chair out in the lawn as well, but it looks like the sidewalk is okay. And then another covered car and grassy surfaces from Ethel Benson and Urbana. So thanks for sending us your pictures. Appreciate the ground truth, if you will. Still seeing some light flurries across the area. That's going to taper off as we head into the overnight hours. I call it the next couple of hours. We'll continue to see the snow falls. And then by the time we get towards 3 o'clock in the morning, we'll start to see some breaks in the clouds. And so first thing tomorrow morning, we'll call it partly cloudy, cold temperatures in the mid-20s. Again, some slick spots on the roadways. We've got a dry next couple of days because we're in between systems. So tomorrow and Saturday, pretty seasonable. Now, this is our system that we're watching that's going to come in by the time we head into the day on Sunday. A lot of uncertainty with this system. We always watch the track and the strength of these areas of low pressure because that determines the type of precipitation that we'll see and how much precipitation we'll see. And this one, too, has three scenarios with it. You get the southerly track here. And if you look, there's Dayton. There's the Miami Valley. Look at that. We're right on the fringe of the snow. So if it takes this more southerly track, we get off snow. And we don't get that much, maybe about one to three inches. Move a little bit further north, you get a little bit of warmer air air in there as well, we get a lot more snow. We're talking about maybe about five to eight inches of snow should this track materialize. Then that even northerly track, then you get not only about maybe three to four to five inches of snow, but you also get maybe right along I-70 here, an intrusion of warmer air. That's a wintry mix, including some sleet, maybe some freezing rain and rain as well. So that's the problem that we have is exactly the track of that storm system. And then because of that, how much snow or how much wintry mix will we see? What we are certain of is that we'll get some accumulating snow by the time we head into the day on Sunday. That'll start sometime mid-morning on Sunday. That'll last through the all-day Sunday into the wee hours of the morning, Sunday night into Monday morning. So here's what we know so far. We're looking at accumulating snow. An exact track of the storm will determine what accumulation we see and what precipitation we'll see as well and how much snow we can expect as we head into the day on Sunday. Each successive piece of information that comes, and we're going to fine-tune the forecast, and we'll let you know what's going on over the coming days. 24 overnight tonight. We'll keep the flurries around at least for the next couple of hours. Pretty decent day tomorrow. Intervals of sun and clouds, about 42 degrees and seasonable. And then here's the five-day forecast. Enjoy the next couple of days, about 42, 43 degrees, a mix of sun and clouds. That's where we should be as we start March. That's seasonable. And then accumulating snow for Sunday. So March going to come in like a lamb, then going to quickly turn into a lion. And then we've got temperatures about 19, 20 degrees for Monday and Tuesday. Partly cloudy skies, a few flurries around, but it's breezy. So look at these overnight lows, 12 for Monday morning, 7 for Tuesday morning. Also cold for Wednesday morning. So look for a wind chill to be below zero Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning. So enjoy the couple of days because we got snow coming our way on Sunday and then really cold, bitter temperatures coming for the first part of the work week next week. All right, join Kirsty Zantini tomorrow morning. She will keep you updated with the newest information coming in about Sunday's storm. Today, the Ohio Department of Transportation released more details about using variable speed.